Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Jade Empire. We are here in the tea house. Um, Stone Star, say anything about the tea house? Is there anything you need? Uh, I guess not. I thought there might be that question. Well, let's see. I... Yeah, what do you think of this place? I do not like the area around this place, around Tien's Landing. There is rot here, deep in the heart of it. There are secrets, and there has been much suffering. Maybe I just feel this way because of what happened at the school, or what I fear will happen to Master Lee. I just know we must be careful. <laughs> Don't think it's really about him. Don't worry, Donstar. Be strong. I will, but I cannot help worrying or thinking about what has happened to Master Lee. Well, then we better hurry. We can put things right if we stay together. That is very sweet of you to say. We should get back to what we need to do. Is there anything else you need? Goodbye for now. Well, I guess if you forget what you're doing, you can always ask them as well. Be well, my friend. They're kind of an extra quest log. Speaking of which, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our quest log. The Zither of Discord, that's what it was. Yeah. You have to understand the way of closed fist, so we will probably have this in our log until we finish chapter two. Um, trapped is free the ship by closing the dam. The second forest is the forest quest to the north. Oh yeah, we have to return this little figurine. I guess we can go do that real quick. Um, and we have to have enough light side points to talk to these guys. Um, go to the boathouse. Boathouse would be fun too, but let's do the dam first. Kind of have my height set on that. Heart set on that. And this is kind of related to the dam. Pirate Lair. So a lot of these are related to each other. Alright. A lot of quests. And of course we can also level up. So let's do that now. Not a lot of choice in leveling up, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, and I think, if I'm not mistaken... No. So when you level up, it does show your stats as they are, including your gems. Um, however, because of all of our techniques, our focus is actually higher than our chi, despite our spirit being higher than our mind. Um, I think I'm still going to just put points in spirit, just because I don't really use... I've never really run into issues so far with running out of focus. At least not significantly. Um, but chi, we're always running out of chi. So let's go with that. And even focus, unless you really use, like, primarily a weapon style for all your fighting, it seems to be kind of hard to run out of focus. So, done. Oh yeah, we do have style points, that's right. Okay. Um... Not going to invest any in Toad Demon, because that was a major fail. I'm sure if you invest a bunch of points in it, it does become fairly powerful, but I don't like the fight the fact that you can't block and apparently can't even heal. And it uses up all your chi, so once you get out of there and back into normal mode, and they can attack you while transforming, you um you don't have any chi left to heal with, so not my favorite types of techniques. And I remember it being the same way too. I remember the Transformation style is not really being a lot of fun, although online in guides, I read that some of them are actually quite powerful if you upgrade them, and um, probably not Toad Demon, that's kind of a weak one, but anyway, I do like that, um, let's put more into Leaping Tiger, I do like that each, uh, each transformation style has something unique to it, like even though the Toad Demon is the weakest, it poisons, and I don't think any of the others poison. So we can spend six points on this to get a speed increase. I would love to like upgrade Ice Shard or even see if we can get a new um, a new spell or a new style from uh, Mistress Gian or whatever her name was. That takes ten points. I guess we do just get five each time. I could have sworn it increased the more you the more you go. Um, I don't want to choose that until I'm sure of it, and I forgot to look it up. Speed increase could be nice, but how often do we use this? I don't, I don't know, because I haven't done any combat recently. Alright, let's save those points for now. Yay for indecision. Once I do a little more combat and get a better feel for what I need, then we can... Um, allocate those points. 
that guy is one of your player characters, and he's shown there quite clearly using Tiger's Claws, but it's funny because his default starting style is not Tiger Claws. It's a White Demon, I believe. Alright, so let's go return the figurine, and then we'll head to the dam. Aw, oh, hi goats. It is very charming, this like rural little town. Can't go up there. Are there other areas like that that we can go up though? Like over here? And might there be something to find? Not really, this seems to be a little too steep. So maybe that one area is the only one. Oh, his poor office. Yeah, nothing up here either. All right. Greetings once again. Nowhere to sell, etc. I have your figurine. I don't believe it. Thank you, Mighty One. You have no idea what this means to me. I have no silver to offer, but I'll give you a discount on all the goods I sell as soon as the dam is closed and I can replenish my stock. Alright. Do we get XP for that? No, just open palm points. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, is the quest still in my log? No, I think it's probably under all active quests. I see. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. So you kind of filtered a bit. So no XP for that quest. On the other hand, maybe those open palm points are enough for me to get the uh, the new style from uh, Mistress Gian. Plot items. That's cool. So we can just do the main quest if we want. Find the Great Flyer, and uh, that's the Pirate Quest. So the Dam and We the Brave are kind of the same thing, because the Ruins are by the Great Dam. But it just means you have to do all those, I guess, before you can actually go on to the next chapter. Alright, so let's see if we can get our style yet. I do seem to recall, though, you actually needing a lot of points to get these styles. So we might have to go around and do some stuff, like closing the Dam to get... Open palm your move, first. old goat. Always a pleasure. I seek your training. You have some understanding of the way of the open palm, but Stone Immortal is not easily taught. Return to me when you feel you understand the way of the open palm. All right. When. So, not yet. In other words, have a little bit more uh, learning to do. So let's head to the dam and see if we can, through our efforts there, better understand the way of the open palm. The dam, unfortunately, is way over by the tea house. So I kind of figured we'd stop by the tea house, talk to Rue, and then go to the dam. But um, I forgot about the figurine quest, so. I do also really want to put points into Ice Shard, too. I'm just worried about spreading all my points too thinly. And if Stone Immortal is so much fun that we end up using that all the time and not using Ice Shard, then there's no need to put points into Ice Shard. However, I do believe, I think I read this fairly recently, that um, Ice Shard, what is this? Well, this has already become an educational trip. From what you discussed with Hui, it would seem we are indeed tied to important events. I have concerns as well. Hui convinced me that your master is the glorious strategist. Tell me, Don't Star, what are your earliest memories with him? You would be better served by asking his favorite student. He was at the school three years before I was. Yeah, I was like two years old, though. Don't think we're going to have gained many useful information from uh, that period of time. She is correct about that. I was with him the longest. We'll focus on you quite a bit by the time we are done, given the spirit monk connection. But I asked Dawnstar what she remembers. All right, then. The only thing I know about my life before coming to the school is that I was not wanted, probably because of the bad omens I was born under. Bad omens? What makes you think that? You said you don't know anything. I know because of my name. It's one of the few details Master Lee was told. I was named for a red glow opposite the morning sun, like a distant... a distant fire. Like the burning of dirge that we just mentioned? Yes, I guess so. I wasn't there, of course. No one but you survived. I guess someone saw it, but 
I don't know where Dirge is or how far the fire was visible. It fits the time, but that just confirms my thoughts about being born under a bad omen. What could be worse than this attack on Dirge and the Water Dragon? If that is the most troubling thing you learn about your birth, consider yourself lucky. Mysterious. So yeah, I guess you'd be a little younger than me then if uh, I was a baby when Dirge happened and she was just being born. But even so, I mean, I, these are obviously very different times and the, with the way the magic works in this world, there might be some truth to omens, but uh, by default it wouldn't seem that uh, being born the same time something bad happens in any way is a mark on you. Um, I'm tempted to switch out followers and bring Sagacious Zoo with me, but for one thing we haven't done too much combat with Dawnstar, and for another I think there's going to be a lot of ghosts at the dam, and his ability to increase my weapon styles won't really help me against ghosts. Talk to your followers to learn more about them. You don't say. Alright, I'm looking forward to doing more combat though, because as I've said before, and as you guys have clearly seen, I really could use some practice with these controls and with my new style maps, and switching between them and healing and all that good stuff. You lost the key, but you opened the gate. Like in Pokemon where you always open the doors and the key gets stuck. Oh yeah, those little rat, rat demons I guess they are? I forgot about those, but those things are annoying. The search goes too slowly. We need more eyes and hands in these ruins. A Lotus Assassin. Listen well, my minions. Fan out and search behind every stone and under every rock. Somewhere in these ruins are gems. Very special gems. If you find one, bring it to me right away. If you fail me, your torment will be greater than any you have yet experienced. Now go! So they have magics to summon ghosts and demons. Lieutenant, you are in charge while I go up to the Great Dam and check on the sentry golems. If anyone tries to enter these ruins, kill them. Of course, Dread One. I don't know if that is Inquisitor Lim. That we heard mention, or yeah, Lim, that uh, we heard discussed before, or if that's just another Lotus assassin. I don't actually remember what Lim looks like. Although I, I don't think that's him. I think he looked a little, like he looked like someone, and not just a typical Lotus assassin model. Um, that guy looks more like the one that attacked Two Rivers, the one that summoned the ghosts. All right, it's combat time. You guys ready for this? You have importantly, your... am I ready for this? Alright, we can use Fortune's favorite against these guys. AoE! AoE! See, that's the real issue there, is when I... Let's block, heal up a bit. Alright, let's go for the throat. You next. Yeah, it seems like, um... Sorry, can't talk and fight at the same time. Alright. What was I gonna say? Gem of Thief's Sense. Totally forgot now. Oh well. Inferior charm gem and some silver. Let's see what the thief sense was. Is that like better trap detection? Yeah, allows the wielder to detect traps. Um, plus one spirit would be nice, but not as nice as the ones I currently have. Let's heal up. Oh, and okay. I was going to say my chi was restored because of Dawnstar, but I could also just do this. Cat monkeys drawn to the chi shrine as well. I guess the Lotus Assassins put that there, or has it always been there? 
Is it just a game mechanic that's not really supposed to even be part of the story? Not sure. Dragon powder. That's like gunpowder, I believe. Don't remember what we need that for, but I'm sure we'll need it for something. There's a statue. I had a dream about this game, and I was in the Imperial City, but it didn't look at all like the real Imperial City. It was very, like, um, monolithic, lots of stone structures and statues. And I was like, they're on like a study abroad trip or something. It reminds me more of like the city um, Kirkwell in Dragon Age 2. But there were like faces and statues everywhere, and I was like looking at the faces and yeah, I don't know. So why you have to be there? Now we have to fight. I'll fight you in a second. Cameo portrait. Don't know what that's for either. But I'm sure we'll find out. Oh. There's some good blows. Come on. Wait! Stop! You hit me none, okay? Okay! Let him his friend! Let him help you, yes? Rat Demon knows things, important things, and Rat Demon tells you, if Rat Demon lives... Hmm, yeah. Why should I trust a demon? Better question! Why should demon trust you? But listen good now, Rat Demon knows lots of things! I know hitting Rat Demon not good, hitting Rat Demon bad! I also know that Rat Demons like the taste of ducks, if you got any ducks! I don't have any ducks. <laughs> you not like ducks? Uh, no ducks! Uh, but maybe you like gems! Rat Demon feels gem is very close. Rat Demon tells you where gem is, then you let Rat Demon live! Yes? How can you sense this gem? Gem is special! Gem is magic! Gem is near, but gem is hidden! You let Rat Demon live, I'll tell you where to find gem! Hmm. So this is like... I don't know, he's a demon, so I just don't know enough about demons in this game. Are they always evil? Like, are they, is he going to leave here and do other evil things? So is doing this for greed of the gem the wrong thing to do? Or am I being merciful by letting him live and it's the right thing to do? The dialogue and the way they're kind of presenting this pitiful little rat demon makes me think it's like the, it's supposed to be the right thing to do. So... Let's give him the benefit of the doubt, and uh, he did seem reluctant to fight me, too. So that works in his favor. He's not just cowering after he lost. He didn't want to fight in the first place, and I kind of attacked him first. So tell me where this gem is. Gem is hidden behind wall. Go down path and you see. Assassins got rockets set up. They're getting ready to blow up wall with rockets. Uh, that's the dragon powder I found. I think if I recall correctly... It's actually possible for you to find this gem before you talk to him, in which case the conversation goes a little differently. Unless I'm thinking about a, uh, a different time or a different game. So I should use the rockets to blow up the wall? Yes! Yes! But rockets need dragon powder! Lotus Assassin's always got dragon powder handy! Good for blowing stuff up! Look around their camp and you find it! You get dragon powder and use rockets to blow up wall! When wall is gone, you look for gem! Gem is behind wall! Somewhere! You just search around! Seems easy enough. So simple, yes. Rat Demon help you. Now Rat Demon can go. Yes. So now we're a little, uh... We have a few different choices. We have the kill him anyway just to be mean. We have the, I'm sorry, I have to kill you, you're an evil demon. Or we can let him live. I wish there was a way to, like, just say the first part of this. Like, see what he says if I call him evil because I'd like to give him a chance to make a case for himself. Are all demons actually evil? But not knowing that they are, again, not knowing enough about demons in this world, I'll let him live, and hopefully he uh, is not evil. Thanks to you, my friend, good and kind and niceful friend to Rat Demon. All right, open palm points. So I guess that was, at least from somebody's perspective, the right thing to do. Heal up a bit. We could go back to the spirit font, but we're fine for now. I see more rat demons in here, and probably less friendly ones. My brain bigger than you's. I win. Bigger, but is it smarter? 
Are those ghosts? Or are they just like there for effect? Gotta put your shield down sometime. Or I'll just freeze you. Oh, he's immune to magic. That's right, demons are immune to, uh... Not sure if it's all magic, or just... Wait a minute, I thought they were... Maybe different demons are immune to different types of magic. That could be it. Thanks to Dawnstar, we ended up with almost full chi after that. So I guess it's good to stay in combat as long as you can, if you're not under threat. So that's a nice, effective way to get your chi back. I will keep that in mind. I've already been over here. Let's bring the map back up, just a little map. Get my bearings. Alright, so we've been all the way up here. Soldiers, it looks like. Who are you? How did you get in here? Idiot! He's obviously a spy! Kill him! Leaping tiger. Shoot. Let's see. Like when I change the style outside of combat, it doesn't seem to stick. I'd like to do an AoE on them. Nah, I'm frozen, no pun intended. Not sure what that does, it just continuously damage them for a bit. Shield up, heal. I need a better key for my healing ability because I have to like stop what I'm doing. Do it. AoE, AoE. There we go. That's when I'm in the most trouble is when somebody with a sword gets a good string of hits on me. Of course, it works both ways. Alright, that worked out well. Use middle mouse button, is that gonna be helpful? Then I can't attack and heal at the same time. Tab. I could use X. Uh, F. Oh, F is fo oh! I guess I have focus mode. I assumed I had to be taught focus mode before I could use it. But apparently not. Um so as you can see, I move faster, and I think they actually move slower as well. Well, that's good to know. Oh, okay, I did remap it. R is healing. I have it on both keys. All right, so if I remember to use R, that should be a lot more convenient than uh, Shift, which I have to hit with my pinky. Yeah. Plus, apparently I've been told that I put my hands on the keyboard differently than most gamers. I have, like, my pointer finger on the F key, as if uh, I was typing, because that's how you put your hands on a keyboard. Um, I don't know why most people do it. I think one to the left of that. Because then your fingers... Like, your pinky's not really doing anything. And your fingers are too far to the left side of the keyboard to use many of the middle buttons, like Y or H, effectively. So, I don't know. I like my method better, actually. Even if it is more atypical. Um, here is the... Fuse. You lost Dragon Tower. Dragon Power. Powder. Pull the lever to launch the rockets. Let's do it! Bye bye wall. So that's cool. And we got some XP. I guess the Rat Demon's clue must be a quest. And that's what has been updated. I wish that icon wouldn't stay there though. Anybody in here? More rat demons. 
Searching for gems, no doubt. Oh, sir, tasty children's here. Something strange about you. But I smells you the same. Come out now, children. Do ghosts of children smell? Definitely children's here, but something wrong with them. Very creepy. Oh, right, immune. Why are you here? No one ever comes to the orphanage. Are you here for us to hurt? Oh yeah, these kids. This is sad. Who or what are you? Her name is Meow. She's gone strange. I'm Bin. We live in the orphanage. At least we used to long ago, before the waters came. We're dead, big person. We're dead. And you can't hurt us anymore. But we can still hurt you. Stop it, Meow. I don't like you hurting people. It's making you... strange. I don't care. I don't care. Someone has to pay. Someone has to pay for what happened to us. I like that you can see like their heart or their soul or their chi, whatever that is inside of them, as their spirit. It's kind of cool. Calm down. Maybe I can help you. You don't care about us. Big people don't help us. They only want to hurt. Just ignore her. She's gone strange because of what happened when... when the water came. We were locked in here, trapped in the orphanage with the rest of the children. As the water rose, we clawed at the door until our fingernails came off. Then we clawed at the window. When the water was too high, we clawed at each other. Then we stopped. Didn't anybody try to help you? Other children survived. The families helped them and they lived. But nobody thought about the orphans. We had no families to watch out for us. I should be a woman now with kids of my own. I should have a husband and a house. Instead, I have ashes and bones. We're tired, living one. We've been here for too many years. We just want to sleep, but we can't. Not until the mistakes of the past are undone. Did you guys notice the uh, closed fist option in the last conversation choices? That If you were stronger, you would have survived. How? They're locked in a building with water filling up. Obviously, they're going to drown... I mean, you could say if they were physically stronger, maybe they could have broken the door down, but they're, they're kids. There's, And if there's water on the other side, that's going to be really hard to break down the door. So, yeah. I, Of all times to blame somebody, you don't want to blame the drowned kids. Um, I was going to say something else, too, that, of course, I don't remember. Oh, I guess these are the type of ghosts that are still here because they have a purpose to fulfill. But even so, they still wouldn't be able to go anywhere because of the uh, the larger issue. Is there anything I can do to help you? Can help me. Find the one who did this to us. Find Kindly Yushin, the orphan master. Find him and kill him. Bring me his head! No, Meow, that won't make you happy. That will just make you stranger. We have to figure out some way to rest. We must find peace. Maybe there's some way I can help. We can't have peace, but we can have revenge. Kill Kindly Yushin for me, big person. Kill him for abandoning us in the orphanage. Kill him for leaving our bones here to rot. The bones. That's it. The orphan master must bury our bones. He left us to this. Only he can end it. If Kindly Yushin comes here and buries our remains, we can finally rest. We can find peace for a time, at least. Maybe until the voice of the Shepherd returns, so that we can find peace forever. 
Right, so there's what I was just saying about that this will only give them rest for now. Because there's still the larger problem of ghosts not being able to return to the underworld. Uh, what if I bury your bones for you? I'm afraid that wouldn't help, living one. It must be kindly Yushan himself who does this. Our deaths are on his hands, so he must do the burial. Where can I find kindly Yushan? Yushan spent his nights at the tea house. He would lock the orphanage when he left so we didn't get out and cause trouble in the town. He had the only key. I... I don't know where Yushan is now. When the flood came, I prayed he would save us. But he never showed up. Maybe he tried. He never tried! He didn't care about us! Nobody cares about us! I bet he still goes out at night and drinks in the tea house. It's like we never existed. Well, I will have to uh, check the tea house and see if I can find him then. Um, oh, I was going to say, this is why we have fire codes now, which mandate that doors cannot ever be locked, ever, in the direction of egress. Um, because if, you know, God forbid something was to happen, then uh, or if they can be locked, they have to be released when either the fire alarm goes off or when power is lost. That way, no matter what happens in the event of an emergency, somebody can always get out. Can I ask you some questions? Questions? There's little we could tell you, big person. We are trapped here in the ruins of the orphanage. We can't leave, and we can't rest until kindly Yushan buries our bones. Don't listen to Bin! If you find kindly Yushan, kill him! I don't want rest! I want revenge! Yeah, we get it. Uh, I'll see if I can find him for you. Yes! Find him and kill him! Bring me kindly Yushin's head! Or bring him here and let me kill him! No! Please, living one. There has been too much death. If you find him, just... Just bring him here to bury our bones. Then we can finally rest. Alright, so we have the quest. I like how you look at your health too. That's from her hitting you all those times. They uh, actually make it into kind of a game mechanic, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure what happens if you're already low on health. Do you actually die? I would hope not, because that would be a little stupid. Um, but I do like that you actually do lose health because of this. We might have to go back to the uh, chief font, at least off camera. Um, Alright, so yeah, we'll have to go find uh, Kind Liu Shan. Obviously, this is another, uh, I keep wanting to say light side, dark side choice. Open palm, closed fist choice, or... Nice evil choice, perhaps in this case. But we'll take care of that the next time we are in town. The Scholar's Gem of Fate and four silver. What is a Scholar's Gem of Fate? Increased chance of focus power-ups, but mind minus one. Um, I like my focus power-ups, but I don't think I really need them that much. Can we go in here? No. What about over here? Oh, there's more people over there fighting. That's probably the way forward, though. So let's go... This is the wall we blew up. Let's go through here first. Ghosts. Whoa. And they know magic. Wait, I didn't get frozen there. Now ghosts are immune to weapons, of course. They are not, however, immune to magic. Of course, neither am I. I am low on Chi, though, so I should probably stick to Leaping Tiger for the rest of this fight. Wasn't too bad, and look, Chi! Maybe next episode my goal will be to uh, work on those harmonic combos. The soft pedal... What does that do? Ooh, that's pretty good. Charm plus five, body and mind plus one. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that one. What did I just do? There we go. Alright. 
You can see my stats rebalancing up there as I switch gems. And that's the um, that trick or kind of um, cheesy mechanic I mentioned before a while back. Is that if you want to replenish your focus, ah, I didn't have enough focus, I guess, or enough mind or something. Um, during battle, all you have to do is get some gems that increase your chi, and if you take them out and put them back in again, it fills up a little bit of your chi as you um, as you replenish it. Like it doesn't fill up an empty bar; it fills it up with new blue part, if that makes sense. Um, so you can keep doing that pretty much indefinitely every time you run out of chi during battle. Which I think I did my first playthrough just because I was so tired of running out of chi all the time. Um, but I think in this game I'm going to try to use either Dawnstar's passives or harmonic combos to get orbs and um, I'll upgrade Spirit Thief as well because that's the more legitimate way to do it. Uh, what is this? I didn't mean to trigger a cutscene. Just another fight? Ours. Mind. All mind. Alive. Dead. No matter. All mine. The mine is yours? You? What are you doing here? The quarry is ours. It was ours when we lived, and it's ours when we're dead. So it'd be easy enough for Byra just to put a bunch of ghosts here, and you could kind of assume they were the ghosts of the miners who worked here. But um, I'd almost be okay with that, really, because there's almost too much story and not enough combat, if you ask me. But uh, I do like that even the, the ghosts here have a story to them. Who are you? I'm Yushi. Stabber Yushi. Everyone was afraid of me when we were alive. Toughest convict on the chain gang. <laughs> then the water came. Everyone ran. No one came to help the prisoners. Except Turnkey. But I know he only came to laugh at us. So, Turnkey had to die. The water kept rising and rising. And then we died. But the quarry is still ours, even when we're dead. And now you'll join us. Now we have a fight in our hands. Oh, I'm slowed. Great. Let's try to keep away then until I'm unslowed. Try to get away from these guys. That one has a weapon. Freeze you. Hey, that was, I think, a harmonic combo. At the very least, he dropped an orb. Let's try it again, shall we? Maybe it has to be a killing blow. I'm not sure how that works. It's like they keep coming, too. They got to kill the main one first. I do like having Dawnstar heal me. Heal my Chi, rather. It seems very useful. Watch out. Yeah, that's the stabber. There we go. Always had a weapon now, watch out. I almost should just keep our held down the entire fight, because I don't want to ever lose health. But that would be a bit tedious. Alright, so I think we've explored most of, uh... I guess this is Old Tian's Landing here, right? Let's look at the map. Um, doesn't really say what it is, but it's certainly what it seems like. So, oh, and there's a world map too. Oh yeah. There's Tian's Landing. I'm not sure where Two Rivers is. I guess here, maybe? Are those the Two Rivers? Not sure. Um, that must be the Great Southern Forest. I don't really see the Imperial City. Is this really the whole world? Dirge is over here, perhaps? Or over there? I don't know. Not really the best map, but um, it is a map. That's kind of cool. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. When we come back, we will, uh, I guess, explore the quarry. And then we'll go the other way 
And we have to find that gem, too, behind the wall somewhere. So we'll look around for that as well. Maybe it's up there with those chests. So a lot to do, and uh, it should be a busy episode. See you guys then.